The unprecedented crisis we are experiencing uh, is uh, a real great challenge for many governments uh, in the world and uh, the impact on education uh, is really huge. Uh, UNESCO started to monitor this process from the very beginning and uh, we couldn't imagine uh, some weeks ago that uh, in a few days uh, uh, 1.5 billion students uh, worldwide uh, should have been uh, out of school uh, because of the impact of coronavirus uh, on education systems. Uh, we are organized from the very beginning uh, an immediate response, uh, a cooperation uh, between uh, a new kind of cooperation between. Uh, our traditional partners in the UN system, but bringing together this time uh, other partners uh, from the private sector, from civil society, in a, a so-called global coalition that the UNESCO is leading uh, uh, with the hope and, uh, and uh, uh, confidence that uh, this should really help governments and countries to address uh, uh, this crisis and to guarantee continuity of learning, which is uh, uh, part of the mission we have uh, within the roadmap of SDG4. We know for sure that the most disadvantaged uh, children uh, and segments of uh, population uh, could be really much more affected by this coronavirus crisis in education. And uh, adult learning uh, is one of the component of the 2030 agenda of SDG4 as, uh, as our mission and uh, we, we, we immediately focus on uh, the results of uh, uh, the report that uh, UNESCO uh, traditionally publishes on uh, the, uh, the adult learning uh, and uh, uh, education. The fourth report, uh, namely, um, shows uh, some interesting data. It shows that the raise in participation uh, in uh, adult learning and education is pivotal for achieving uh, uh, all sustainable development goals. And it also provides an opportunity for countries uh, to review uh, their uh, adult learning and education policies uh, and to take stock of the progress uh, made for towards uh, uh, and, uh, and uh, to also being able to, to make provision, uh, provisions for all learners throughout their lives uh, in different uh, contexts and uh, circumstances. So, uh, the, the, the report uh, uh, shows also that in many countries, uh, disadvantaged groups uh, tend to participate less uh, to, in order learning and education. And, uh, and uh, the lowest increases in participation uh, uh, are reported for all those uh, with disabilities, uh, older adults and the minority groups. And uh, this fourth report uh, underlines as well uh, that partnerships uh, between the stakeholders, different stakeholders still uh, is a very important asset uh, to, to, to go ahead and to, and to achieve also this uh, part of uh, uh, the common mission we have, uh, which is uh, the quality, uh, quality and inclusive education for all under the umbrella of uh, the uh, SDG4. And uh, this regional launch, uh, let me say, will help, really help to deepen the understanding of uh, adult learning uh, and education in the region, in this specific region, and, uh, and the organization of this launch uh, as a joint event of UNESCO and the Commission of the African Union uh, is a very important sign. It's a sign of synergy, it's a sign of cooperation, and, uh, and it's a sign of a, a common force uh, between uh, our two organizations. In, uh, uh, with, with this in mind, uh, keeping uh, this principle and this uh, message in mind, uh, I look forward to strengthen the co this cooperation and to promote adult uh, uh, learning and education more and more across the continent and to support uh, our member states to fully realize uh, its potential contribution to SDGs and the entire 2030 agenda. I'm confident, I'm really confident that uh, uh, you know, 
despite the, the, the dramatic situation that uh, the world, uh, the entire world is living uh, uh, currently, uh, we will soon be able to meet in uh, more favorable times. Uh, we can uh, really meet once again, uh, not only through technologies, but uh, uh, personally. And uh, I think that uh, we'll have the same mission, the same renewed purposes uh, to promote uh, uh, education and, uh, and uh, the principles, the values of the 2030 Agenda for a better society. Thank you very much.